what is up guys welcome back here true hunter In today's video we are going to be doing the blacktail guide here on red feather falls i have two tent locations i'm going to show you now and i'm going to do the exact coordinates for you so you can place tents here the exact coordinates for this tent are x-axis negative one one nine four five and the y-axis is going to be negative five six one four is going to be for that and the reason why I put these tents here, right, is because you can fast travel to them and they're going to be less than one camping supply for cost. Now, I say this area is really good because this entire region right here is prominently just blacktail and black bear. So you won't really find anything until you get down to there in this swamp area. So if you really want, you can actually walk down the river to get more blacktail, maybe some black bear and some moose, but prominently... You're going to find the most blacktail up here in this region here and this center island where my tent's at my second tent is really good because mostly you're going to get the blacktail coming in from these areas here so you won't really have them going outside of the map necessarily so they'll be going to be coming inland to you you won't have to worry about it going out so that is pretty much where i like to put my blacktail tent now sometimes you'll see them going around the tent now but that's not a huge issue because I'm going to show you here in a second what I'm talking about we're going to go ahead and fast travel to this second tent location all right and it looks like we got a black tail butt call right off the bat here and he is just over here behind us before I check out and see what this buck is I'm going to go ahead and give the coordinates to the second tent it is x negative one one nine nine two and then y is negative six zero four five is going to be the second tent location now if you guys want you can actually put a tree stand here like i have or you can actually just put a deer blind pretty much anywhere you want if you guys do choose to put a deer blind i would honestly move the tent back into the woods a little bit more and put the deer blind out in the open and it does look like we have a couple bucks out here. They don't look like anything big. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to climb up in the tree stand. Probably wait for these guys to come on in here. Yeah, because I don't see anything else. And if you guys are wondering, I start my hunts at 9 a.m. at this spot. And I go to about 11 a.m. So... Because after that, the activity starts to die down a little bit, and you'll see more black bear coming around. But, like I said, prominently, you're going to find black tail, black bear, and your occasional moose roaming around. Very rare you'll see Roosevelt up in here in this area. Just like, just like right now, you can see that black bear track I picked up. So, just to show you the different animals that are up here, but this is a really good spot for black tail. All right, I'm going to kind of draw the line here, showing you exactly where it cuts off at until you'll start seeing more moose and stuff. Pretty much just south of that little uh, campsite down there is primarily where you're going to see your moose at. So I'm going to go ahead and give a couple calls here and get these blacktail on cue. I'm going to hop up in the tree stand and wait for these guys. Alright guys, so here is our first blacktail buck here. The second one is a little bit in the woods, so we're going to have to hopefully make a drop shot in this guy and they don't spook away. But since we're using the snake bite, it's going to be the most quiet option we got. So we're going to go ahead and put an arrow in this guy. Hopefully we can get a good spine shot here. And it indeed looks like we dropped him. Now we just have to wait for the second buck to show up. Alrighty, this buck finally decided to show up here under the stand. I kind of want him to get him just a little bit closer to the first buck because I want to take a pretty nice trophy shot. I got an idea for a trophy shot. But this guy's got a 95 to 170 score estimate. Nothing too impressive. So let's see if we can do another spine shot. And there he goes. Right on top of his buddy. So, and it actually, I could have swore I heard another buck grunt over here somewhere hmm maybe I was just hearing stuff 
could have swore there was another buck over here somewhere. Okay. I think we're going to jump down here and collect these guys. Oh, that is another buck. Okay. He is... Let's see. He's over here on the end of this uh, little island over here. Let's see what he is. Alright, so he looks like to be the cleanest one we've had so far. And just as you can tell, these animals versus the mule deer and the whitetail are kind of a mixture in between. They can either be solitary bucks or they can be like intertwined groups. So just take note of that. So if you're ever like trying to track a, you know, a group of blacktail and you find a bunch of tracks, it's probably going to be a group. But we're going to go ahead and give him a grunt. And I got a really good idea for a trophy shot for these guys. If I can actually get him on top of these other two, I kind of want to make him look like they're, they've been sparring, you know, like in, there's one buck that just came out on top as the champion. But, all right, I'm going to hop back up in the stand here and see this buck to come on in. All right, these three blacktail decided to sh finally show up. There was two does that followed him in. I'm going to try to drop this guy on the spot, and hopefully he doesn't spook. Otherwise, it's going to ruin my plan. Oh, I thought he was going to take off for a second. Luckily, we got that spine shot in there. But our ultimate goal is to have at least a 180 buck or maybe a non-typical because out of my entire time actually hunting blacktail I've never I've never found a blacktail that was a non-typical now my personal best is a 191 and it was actually from this tree stand too so we got a 197 let's go ahead and take a trophy shot of these guys I'm gonna go ahead and skip the video because this is gonna take me a while to do to get set up but I'll show you the final the final picture after I'm done. All right, that is the trophy shot I wanted. Kind of looks like they've been sparring a little bit, and that one's the last survivor. So, really nice trophy shot, I like to say. Not very often you get three bucks in one picture looking like that. But, anyways, for, so what the game plan now is is I'm going to sit in the tree stand until about 11. 11 a.m. is going to be about my about my time. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up these guys. We got a 65.0. He was like a 147, too. Let's go ahead and see what this guy scores. It is a 148. So, that one's going to be the biggest one so far. So, I'm going to hop up in the tree stand again and wait till about 11 a.m. And if we don't see anything, we're going to move on to the next spot. I'll show you guys that little swamp area down to the south of us. All right, guys. It's 11 a.m. and we got a buck call. Let's go ahead and see what this guy is. He's over here behind us. Oh my gosh. I can see the size of the rack. I don't know if you guys seen that or not, but look at this giant. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of his rack. He goes, he's got the estimate, 125 to 200. That is almost a guaranteed, I'm going to call it, like probably 190, at least 190. Like I, I swear if this breaks my personal best at 191, like, I'm going to probably flip. Like, this is as big as they get, guys. Like, I'm not going to take any chances here. Like, we are going to definitely use the 243 rifle on this guy. Like, I am I am literally shaking right now. It is incredible how big this blacktail is. Especially from this spot. The exact same spot in tree stand that I shot my 191 from. Like, this is actually crazy. I cannot believe how big this buck is and he's just right here behind the tree stand too like I was literally just sitting here waiting for something to go by and I had like a black bear walk under my tree stand and stuff and and then like this guy just calls out of nowhere and he's right here behind me like it's oh my gosh this is why I play this game wait a minute looks like we got another buck over here oh yeah he's just a little fry we ain't going to be too worried about him. But anyways, this is why I play the game is because of these moments right here. Because this is a personal best potential blacktail. Like, this is as big as I get. And not only that, but it's while I'm doing a guide. So it makes it even better, right? Like, it's not scripted or anything. It's the same, the same hunt. 
which makes it the most exciting part about it. Like, and it just shows you how good this spot really is. Okay, let's hope he go ahead and crosses this tree branch and presents me a shot here. Because I'm totally getting antsy. You guys can see the, uh, the black bear in the background there to the left. I don't know if you guys seen that or not, but there he was. We're going to drop this guy. We ain't going to take any chances, but look at the size of this guy. I'm going to try to do a spine shot here. And just like that, he goes down. Wow. The king of red feather falls is what I'm going to call this one. I'm probably going to put him next to the king of timber gold in my lodge. I think I seen another blacktail run away. Yeah, that's just a doe. All right. I'm not going to be worried about that at all. This is this is what we're after right here is this big guy right over here. All right, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think he's going to score. Closest guess is going to get pinned in this video. I honestly think he's going to be at least 190. 190 at least. Because he's got a clean rack. He's got no deductions or anything. So... Oh man, I'm literally shaking so bad right now. It is incredible. Cannot believe it. Like this is this is like this is unheard of almost. Like these these guys are so rare. Like they're almost rarer than black the non-typicals. But we're going to go ahead and pick up this guy here in a second and see what he scores. 81.3 194 Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that just happened. I just smashed my personal best by three whole points. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm I'm literally speechless right now. Like, this is so amazing. I cannot believe it. This is my best blacktail yet, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to go back and taxidermy this guy, but I want to get a really good picture of this guy here. Go ahead and skip through this part here because it's going to take me a while to be to get happy and satisfied with this trophy shot. All right, guys, that looks pretty good. It shows his mass and his width too, so I would say this is going to be a really good trophy shot and thumbnail for the video. Oh my gosh, look at that giant. Like He's just so wide. He's, he's just incredible. Oh my gosh. Such an amazing buck to get. Truly. I honestly cannot comprehend the excitement I have coursing through my veins right now. This is why I play the Hunter Classic for moments like this. Oh boy. Oh boy. So yeah, I think that is a... Uh, a good ending buck for this video guys go ahead and put a tent here set up a tree stand and let me know what the best buck you get from this location and also if you haven't already please hit subscribe and drop a like on the video if you learned anything and enjoyed it i most certainly did i was not i wasn't expecting to have a 194 buck show up here at this tree but it happened and so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video i appreciate all you guys who watch my content and you know give me the support you guys do it is fantastic i appreciate everybody and thanks for watching guys